What is up guys, Nilly here, and I got a match for you guys here. I didn't get to see this match, so um to let you know the players on to the left I got John who is rocking a Zygarde Bob Moon deck, and to the right I have the man Alex over here who got um he likes to play with his favorite Pokemon. We got the Golem, we have uh, he has also Zygarde as well, he has Carbine, Gratikate, and uh, Lugia, I think. Well, what I'm worried about in this matchup is can Pretty much, can Alex get something going before the Bob Plume comes down and shut him down on item lock? Can John, can Alex get set up before John comes in and just um, control the board? So we see here that Alex had to go with a Sycamore. He had nothing in his hand. Um, he able to start off with a Golem and he got the Raticate down. Um, I'm trying to see what else. It looked like he's about to put the Strong Energy on the Golem, which he does. Um, and he passes his turn. Now, uh, that Shaman is unfortunate for a start, but he goes to the Heavy Bar, and I'm pretty sure he's going to find a Zygarde out of this, which he does. And he's going to look through his deck to see if there's anything prized that's up in there. Um, trying to figure out how he's going to win this matchup right here, looking through his... Um, just getting, getting a feel of what could be in those prize cards. Checking through, checking through good. Um... I'm pretty sure he's, um, I didn't get to see his hand, but I'm pretty sure he probably has some resources. He want to try to get that turn one Boplu down really quickly here. Um, goes to shuffle his deck. And the thing with Alex here, putting that strong energy on that golem, it does take three energies to attack. And if John gets sets up really quickly, I don't think that golem is going to last three turns in this setup. So what Alex is going to, have to be fishing for is a Zygarde or Lugia, something to get down on that bench and get down quickly. I know he does play baby uh, Zygarde and Carbink in his deck as well. He's going to need to get something going. We see a strong energy on Zygarde going for the Trainer's Mail. Plays the Forest of Giant Plants. He did find a level ball out that Trainer's Mail, assuming for Oddish in this situation or Gloom. I can't tell. There goes the Oddish is coming down right there. Um, still looking to see if he has a Gloom and a Bob Plume um, ready to go. Um shuffles his deck and Alex we do see I do see a Shauna and a couple other things in his hand that could probably get him get him some more cards on his next turn to get something down and then we see the tap there from Alex uh, okay we see AZ to pick up the Shaman to send out the Zygarde he's gonna be he wants to put this pressure on early John is not messing around here he gets the Shaman pick up set up for four lays down the Carbink um, looking, looking, Ultra Ball, I'm pretty sure this is going to be for a Gloom in this situation. It is for the Gloom, he does set that down for Ball, because he does got the four of the Giant Plants out in play. And he's looking to see, does he have that Bioplume in there? Can he get this Bioplume this turn and be on that item lot? Um, I did see a DCE, a Lucky Helmet in Alex's hand. Um, he probably wants to put that Lucky Helmet on that Golem so he can start getting some extra card drawn in this flow. Because I can't see him powering up that Golem in time the way Zygarde's going to be hitting. Because it looked like he's going to be, uh, I think Lampulse is his first move for 60 at this point. Okay, there's the tap from Alex. Um, and it looks like he does not have the Bioplume, so he does attack for the 60. Alex is going to draw here, and he's going to need he's going to need to get something down quick. He plays a uh, Pokemon fan club, searching probably for the Zygarde and the Lugia in this situation, I believe. Um, I don't think any other basic Pokemon wise, other than Baby Zygarde, is going to help him here because that carving with that safeguard ability. I mean, if John finds some way to get rid of that Raticate. Carbink can sweep through this deck right here. So he does a, he does get the Zygarde and the Lugia out. Um, I think Alex's biggest situation is mainly might not be the item lock and maybe that Carbink. But he's going to have to get to that Zygarde to get to that Carbink. Because of those EXs now, he does play the double colors on the Lugia. And the Lucky Helmet is going to is it going to the Golem? Is he gonna play the Lucky Helmet on the Golem? I did see a Wally there too. He did he already played the supporter. He passed his turn. Um he does John gets that energy on the Zygarde, able to draw some more cards there. Um, let's see what he got here. Plays the Stardust Jirachi down. That can also be helping with that Lugia. Level Ball. I'm assuming the Level Ball is going to be for Carbink. Yes, it is. He knows that Carbink is going to help him out in this situation with Alex sitting on three EXs over there. If he finds some way to get rid of that Raticate, John is looking in a very good situation with an Item Lock and a carping who got that safeguard ability which can't be hurt by pokemon by the ex pokemon this is going to be really tough for alex to get out of here and john's looking he's looking he's looking does he have something does he have something stay about how he's going to play this out he might just just go with the attack with the second move from zygarde that heals wait i don't think he has any in doesn't have no damage on it so he does does the okay he did win with the second move for 80 
let's see what Alex is going to do here. He plays the Wally, and that Wally most likely is going to be for the Raticate because none of those really evolved there. So he's going to get out that Raticate. Hopefully, he can get into a Raticate break and start bringing these Pokemon HPs down to 10 because he's going to need to be. He, he needs to get through that Zygarde to get through those Carbings. So, Raticate is his only option of getting through those Carbings. So, he could do a Dirty Shock and then next turn come in with a Super Fang if he if John don't find a way to get out of that Poison to take care of it. I don't know if he run Ariados in his deck or anything that does special conditions other than the Raticate. Um, we see the Lucky Hummy going to Zygarde. I question the play, but, you know, it's my little man over here. He's going to do what he loves best. And we see the double energy colors go down to Lugia. So Lugia is ready to go. Um, we got John turn over here. And he's probably thinking. He knows that he has. He's going to have control. It, wait. I think I saw a Lysander in his hand. I think. Yes. He has a Lysander in his hand. He might go for the Raticate here. Is he going to go for the Raticate with the Lysander? Instead he knocks out the. He does knock out the Golem. John takes two prize cards. And it is six to four on the prize race. And here comes the Lugia, and I'm pretty sure Lugia is going to come in and want to do some damage to Zygarde right away with that, uh, I think the Deep Hurricane Attack, whatever the second one is that destroys the stadium. Destroys the Forest of Giant Plants. In this situation, it's, it's useless at this rate because he could just get to the Bob, he can get to the Bob Plume. He don't need the Forest to get to the Bob Plume in this situation. Now John goes, and John has options here. Depending on how much <laughs> there goes the counters knocking off the play. Depending on what John has in his hand. I see the light sander. So I'm assuming there goes the Pokemon Center later. So we won't see that light sander this turn. He's probably just gonna wait it out and see what else if he's gonna bench anything else for him to light sander. Because the Raticate does have a fighting weakness, so there's really no need, but if he's not gonna bench another uh non-EX Pokemon, he might just light sander that Raticate. And I think we're going to see probably the second move come off of Zygarde, the one that heals 30 from the Zygarde, which we do here. Um, that does 80, but because Lugia got that fighting resistance, end up doing 60. Um, okay, and it looks like uh, Alex went with Arrow Ball and Lugia. So there goes the Bob Plume. So that's unfortunate. I think Alex did draw an item card in his hand, but uh, he's going to be stuck with a hand here. Item card... Item lock is never fun to go against. Never. And John's problem, he really didn't need to worry about item lock because uh, he he pretty much got control in this board on his set. It's good being on John's side of the field. And we do see the Lysander for the Raticate. He is going to take this out right away get another prize card. Now, this sets up for Carbink right here. He knows the Zygarde is going to go down next turn. That's fine. He's willing to trade that trade because now Alex can't hit him. There's no way he could take out this Carbink unless he has a Hex Maniac. Um, I did see a Lucario in his hand, but really there's no need to play the Lucario. I see Fighting Fury Bell, but no need with the break. I'm pretty sure he's just going to get an energy on that Carbink and just use the Diamond Gift to probably power up the other Carbink. Because Carbink is going to Carbink is going to lead John to victory in his game here. Alex is going to need to draw into a Hex Maniac to get out of the situation here. And there goes the Diamond Gift onto that Carbink. Out to the bench carving, and we're gonna see, and we're gonna see Alex draw here, which he got a. Can't tell what he got from there, but I don't think he has nothing playable. And this is gonna be a. Uh, we're gonna see a, a draw pass from. He's gonna retreat, and he's gonna probably power gym his way to victory here. He's gonna power gym for the. F that should be twenty. Oh, because of the strong energy. That's right. The strong energy made it forty. Okay. Um, and he's just going to power gym. There's nothing Alex can do in this situation. And he's just not drawing the cards he needs here. We're probably going to see a power gym for the knockout here. Where are we at? 140? Yeah, power gym will be for knockout. He does. John did draw Zygarde in his hand. Um, but there's really no need to bench it at this point because he, the, the carving looked like it's going to win him the game here. And there goes the Zygarde out. Alex is, uh, he does have a DCE in hand, but that's not going to help him. In this situation, and he has to pass. I think in this situation, uh, he can't play Professor's Letter, and he did call John did call that because of the item lock. He is stuck, and we might just see a bunch of power gems here in this situation. He's gonna power up the bench carving power jam for sixty. 
Um, he does have the protection cube, which really doesn't help him because it's for the Golem EX. So he has to pass there another 60 and two more turns. This is game. And he can't use the Lucky Helmet because of the item lock. So he can't even get extra cards in this situation. Um, he does get an energy. He's probably just going to use it, uh, but he can't even attack anyway. So it's just an attach for no reason. And I, that should be game right there. And that is game. Uh, John got that out in time, realized the situation, and... Uh, it, it's just very fortunate, but we should go to the play of the game here. There we go. The play of the game. When John used that Lysander on that Raticate, sending it out, and went all the way and led Carbink all the way home for him. Great, great matchup by both players here. Uh, John with that Zygarde Bioplume, it's a tough matchup. Once that item lock comes down on Bioplume, it just makes your day really hard. You have to deal with 190 HP Mighty Morphin Megazord Zygarde over there. And if he has strong energies attacking for you, he's hitting you hard while you, he has a good defense on him too. And if you don't have, if you're a deck that relies on items, it's really hard to deal with it. It's 190 HP. That, that, that's a lot to deal with. It's a lot. Especially if your deck is one of those decks that are too hitting that are too shotting. It's a lot. So good good job on both players in. I mean, Alex, there was nothing he could do in the situation, but he played it the best he could. John got his um got his control down quickly and efficiently and was able to clean house from there. But this is Nilly, and I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. There will be um a couple of more once I get those uploaded and stuff like that. I still don't have the format down for how I want this, but there's going to be some cool looking uh, layouts on here that's going to show the prizes and like what cards are in the active and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and the commentary going on and you guys all have a great day. Thank you for watching.